and uh, again, I'm, I'm not asking for an answer right now, but I do think that's something we need to have a conversation on in the future of how do we make sure we're maximizing our rate of return, especially when we know we're going to be asking hardworking Oregonians uh, to help pay for this infrastructure development. I can take that on right now. If you go back to slide 30 on your sheet in front of you, one of the key pillars of uh, the present administration's plan to go forward is private, public private partnerships. And what they have signaled to every state in the union at this point is, is that they intend to leverage to get to this trillion dollar number, if that's the magic number, Representative uh, Smith, is, is that they intend to leverage uh, public private partnership and that of tolling and congestion pricing, which we studied in depth and had a large discussion on our side. The other thing is obviously uh, the problem that they have, I think there's a number throwing out there, I mean the federal government, somebody out there in the last couple of weeks has proposed like a 36 cent gas tax increase in the federal government. Because the problem we faced is in the recent transportation plan that was approved by the Congress, uh, they were very nice to say that they were going to make a transportation plan, but they failed to put money behind it. Uh, and so at this point, um, what we we have heard in all the discussions is, is, which is why it is imperative, though it is unpopular, that's what legislators get paid for, it is imperative and unpopular to look at pre-construction tolling and the issue of congestion pricing because that will be integrated into the future transportation plan coming out of the present administration. But you're absolutely correct, that's, that's one of the leveraging points, that's why we put it in here. Um, it takes about two years to put, to basically set up the capability in the back room to do something like this and we want to be prepared representative Smith if they say hey where are the 10 projects in the country we can use as symbolic we want to have the mechanism like our brethren across the state in the state of Washington uh, where they have the back room and the setup so they can take advantage of that and as I mentioned earlier one of the discussions we're having right now uh, and thanks again kudos to director uh, Garrett for leaning forward in the foxhole here is discussions with our colleagues at the federal government on this issue and discussions with the state of Washington of if we have to get a back room really fast to take advantage of that, how do we do it and how could that be contracted out maybe with our neighbors across the river? Yeah, so just following up, and so I, I appreciate that. It's just those of us in ways and means know that um, that those federal opportunities go far beyond just major, major projects and that there's opportunities for counties and cities and for our ports to take advantage of that. The last, the last thought is, and so I just think it needs to be part of our overall conversation. Mm -hmm. And I think that would make some of us comfortable to know that we're leveraging those dollars to the maximum extent. The second thing I th 